as Steve Jobs said, good artists copy, great artists steal. And it does sound up, but what is the difference? The difference comes from your intentions. When you copy, you imitate what is in front of you. For example, if I was working on a playlist screen for a music player application and I want a distinguished slick look, I might copy Spotify's screen here and think to myself, job done. This is copying. Whereas if I wanted to steal, I would look at different screens, but instead of copying them directly, I would try to find in my own name what kind of different elements these techniques could apply. Back to our Spotify example, I really like the gradient they use in the whole screen. And I decide I want to use a normal color for background for my project, but for my primary action button, I might decide to use gradient orange for it to look more distinguished. Now, I am not saying I am great at this concept, concept of stealing. But I learned a lot and I will share with you the 4 mistakes I did when I'm trying to steal UI designs that I like and so that you can get better at this technique much faster than I did. First, I picked popular sites like Dribbble or Behance to get inspiration from. While these sites have great UI designs, they are usually designed by designers who are doing side projects so they don't have real world constraints. So while you might be copying a technique you like, it might actually not be usable by a user because let's say it might just be unreadable. So if you steal from these designs that actually hurt the users, you might start to develop bad habits as a designer without even realizing. You can become good at graphic design, but in terms of UI UX design, you might actually get worse. To prevent this from happening, I am relying on screen name more. I have mentioned screen in previous videos, but from now on, I think I will only use screen name or design mode just to look at professional designs. A lot of projects you will see on screen name will be apps like Google, Apple, Microsoft that are very known companies and also they have invested in UX design hundreds of millions of dollars to get better for their product. So there's a lot of gems to learn from. Second, I found myself designing generic screens because I haven't actually written down the brand I was trying to go for in the first place. And I learned how to do this from Eric Candy's post and there are two things you have to do. First, you are going to write down what your brand you are writing is for. Let's say we are designing an application that we want it to be elegant, stylish. The second part to strengthen this brand is we have to decide what it stands against for, what it will never be. So for our elegant or stylish app, it would probably never look casual or friendly or unprofessional. The first one helps you to find what you are looking for and the second one literally makes you avoid the mistakes of what you are not looking for. Third, I only picked designs that resembled each other so there wasn't much variety between the options I picked to get inspired from. For example, if I was to design a mobile application based on health, I would go through screening and find most designs are using the green color and sans serif font to make their designs look friendly and also let's say clean. But if I were to dig deeper, I could find health mobile applications that were looking for the brand more stylish and elegant like Andel. Finding these counter examples that go against the norm makes you really find what kind of a branding you are trying to design for your project. While picking variety and good branding will give you enough options, it is another thing to find the best option and pick. And the best option to pick one is to usually create a lot of variations of the screen you are designing to see which techniques you can use. And you usually need 5 10 variations to make sure that you are not only copying but making sure that the technique is used in your own way so that it becomes stealing and not just copying imitation. I hope you guys find a way to avoid these 4 mistakes I did so that you can pick up the stealing technique much faster to improve your UI UX design skills. However, even if you understand how to steal but you also want to learn how to copy UI design skills in the best way possible so you can learn from the works of the masters, watch this video next.